In the previous two videos, we've spoken about the unit of energy, the calorie. I want to move on and talk about some other units of energy in this video. First, I want to talk about the calorie. Now, this might seem a little bit redundant, but you'll notice a little difference. The calorie we've been speaking to has a lowercase c. The calorie I'm now speaking of has a capital C. And you might think that's a silly difference. But a calorie with a capital C is actually a kilocalorie or 1,000 calories with a lowercase c. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you had a yogurt this morning, say 150 calories, if you look at that container, you'll see that the calorie is spelt with a capital C. And that's true for all of your food labeling. So that means every time you're eating something, you're eating kilocalories of food, or my 150 calorie yogurt was 150,000 little calories. Now that may seem discouraging, but every time you exercise, the calories that are measured on a treadmill or on a stationary bike are also measured in a capital C calorie, so you're also burning kilocalories of energy just by moving around or thinking about this video. Now both the calorie and the calorie are imperial units. The units that we most use here are the joule. The joule is the SI unit of energy. And one calorie equals 4.184 joules. Now note that's one calorie with a lowercase c. One little calorie equals 4.184 joules. So that means a joule is a tiny, tiny unit of energy. There are more than four joules in one little calorie, and then 1,000 little calories in one big calorie. So a joule is a small, small unit of energy. So let's go back to that first question that we looked at, the amount of energy to raise 10 grams of water 15 degrees Celsius. But instead of finding out how many calories it would take, let's figure out how many joules it will take. So previously for water, we saw that the calories would equal the mass times the change in temperature. So when we did this problem initially to find the calories, we just took 10 grams times 15 degrees Celsius, and we said that this was 150 calories. But this question is asking for the answer in joules. So we just learned that one little calorie equals 4.184 joules. So we can treat this just like a regular conversion. I can take this statement here and say one calorie for every 4.184 joules or 4.184 joules for every one calorie. So I can take my 150 calories up here and multiply it by one of these conversion factors. I want to end up with joules, so I'm going to take this one right here and bring this up here. And so I can say, if I take my 150 calories, multiply by 4.184 joules for every one calorie, then that is going to equal 627.6 joules. If I look at my data, I have three sig figs and everything here, so I'm going to bring this down to three sig figs and say that that is 628 joules.